Mario, is it Man City's year? <laughs> I mean, I have a feeling, but like Nadem said, Real Madrid is just, oh man, every time we we talk about this team, we say like, oh, someone's going to get, like, even when Chelsea was playing them and when they won it, but I'm talking about, they always, you know, Ancelotti has that skill, that he has that psychological skill, and now he's facing someone that is also on that term, so it will become a big battle for both teams, but both managers. I feel like it's going to be a tactical game in the sense of, what, I, what is this one going to bring? Was ever. But uh, City are a strong team, while Chelsea wasn't, because Chelsea's individuals. City is, is it as a team. So that's why I feel, will Guardiola push us over the line this season? Because he can say as much as he like, I don't want to win it. Trust me, he wants to win it more than anything. Ancelotti versus Guardiola. <laughs> Talk to me about this managerial uh, matchup, Stevie. I think I'll take Pep. Yes, Angelotti has a trophy in his pocket from previous years, uh, and he's he's coaching a side that seemingly doesn't know how to lose on a on a Champions League night. Unfortunately, it's going to come to an end sometime, and I do believe <laughs> that this is the very year it comes to an end. Listen, Real Madrid have shown that they can be vulnerable. They showed it against Liverpool, but then showed the class. And Chelsea gave them a few little uh, palpitations. Uh, it just so happens Chelsea couldn't score, couldn't hit a barn door, could they, from two yards? And Manchester City are better than they were last year. How they lost to Real Madrid last year, I still don't know. But they're better with Haaland. So, mm. for me, everything points towards Manchester City. Does that put more of a pressure on Manchester City, though, that everybody saying everything does point towards them and that Real Madrid, if they lose this, they're like, OK, we have this many Champions League, where there's a focus on City mm. and this side having not won the Champions League? Well, with all question, and I think some of that pressure might be getting to some of these City players and, and Bernardo Silva talking about revenge for last season. Um, I, I, I don't ever feel that's a, that should be a motivation at, at this stage of, of a competition such as, such as the Champions League. But given City's spending, given how much they've invested in winning, my opinion, in winning, trying to win the Champions League and how they've failed, how they've come unstuck at key moments, I think with each passing season, that pressure starts to mount. At the other side of that, that, that coin is a Real Madrid side who just seem to be at their best when, when it comes, when it comes to, to, to Champions League action. To Stevie's point, I agree. I think City are a better team this season, certainly in terms of um, trying trying to win the Champions League. And then, if league form is anything to go by, this Real Madrid side is not as good as the one we saw last season. But, in much the same way we were saying about Sevilla and the Europa League, when it comes to Champions League, Real Madrid just it, it, it just feels so different for them. So you take absolutely nothing nothing for granted. I still feel City are the better side. I'm still leaning City, but I, I guess I'm, I'm a lot like Nate. I mean, even as I'm saying that, I'm not overly convinced. It's, it's definitely not going to be straightforward. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.